Hi everybody, my name is Forrest Anderson, also known as Your Yacht Guy on Instagram and TikTok. Today I am fortunate enough to be standing on one of our clients 43 Pardos. He was kind enough to let us use it and take you on a quick tour. So before we get started, I want to point out the toy, the water toy garage here. This is a great spot to hold all your water toys and conveniently right in front of that hydraulic swim platform that we're standing on there. As this goes up, I'll quickly explain that that hydraulic swim platform will go down and become nice as a uh, bathing platform, kind of lowered into the water there and imagine the kids and family hanging out about six inches into the water or so. Have your own personal beach. In this case, we don't have water toys in here. Instead, we have the filler cushion for this table, which I will explain momentarily. Let's keep walking forward. One of the many reasons that Pardo really kind of separates itself from the rest of the boats in this class is not only safety, but the use of entertainment space. This whole area here, actually the entire boat really is entertainment headquarters, if you will. All these backrests move, whether the uh, table is being used for lunch or you wanted to lay out here, this is a headrest when it rotates that way. This will all open up here. This table will drop down and then those filler cushions that you saw earlier will go in here and become another large sun pad. If that's not enough, those backrests come up and then it really allows you to get ample sun, whether it's towards the bow or towards the stern of the boat. If sun's not for you, then we have an electric sunshade here. This will come out and pretty much cover the entire table here. Really nice if you have spent a long day on the water and you want to enjoy a nice casual meal at the end of the day without being in the sun. This really sharp black summer kitchen here goes great in contrast with that Lamborghini Grigio gray hull color. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this color scheme. This summer kitchen here is very, very well laid out. You have an ice maker here, refrigerator, trash can storage there. On top, you have an electric cooktop as well as a sink there. If you don't have enough room for drinks, we got you covered. Why get up to grab yourself a drink when you could do it right there? right between your legs. So you have a drink cooler on either side here as well as there. In between those two drink coolers is your engine room access. Now here at SI Yachts, we're gonna cover most of your service work, but it's nice to know that you have a very large engine room down there. Those are those Volvo IPS D6s. So they're 480 horsepower engine blocks. However, you're getting 650 horsepower uh, and efficiency of the Volvo IPS D6s. You'll also notice the Kohler generator down there, as well as the quick gyro. Gyro stabilizer is gonna keep you nice and steady if you're just kinda out at anchor there. Really my favorite part of just about any walkthrough video I do is the helm. I spend a lot of time running our boats from office to office or resort to office picking up clients' boats, and really I get excited every time I'm on a Pardo. It never ceases to make me smile and really enjoy being on the water. As I mentioned, this boat has the Volvo IPS D6s. Allows you to kind of cruise this boat right around 30 knots, which is very impressive for a 43-foot day boat with a full cabin down there. Um, on that, you're probably gonna burn roughly 35 gallons an hour uh, at 30 knots. Nice part is though, when you get to the dock, you have the Volvo joystick, which truly is one of the easiest, most simple things to be added to the boat world in the sense that it makes docking easy and feasible for just about anybody you have on the boat. You'll notice two twin Garmin displays as well as the Volvo engine display by itself. You have the chain counter 
as well as the quick gyro stabilizer screen here as well. Can never have too many cup holders, so you'll notice you have two on either side there, and then access to the cabin. This is where the magic happens. Down we go. Again, as I mentioned, I'm not really a short guy, and being able to stand up in here is one of the nicest features about the 43. Plenty of storage everywhere you look. You have a drawer under the bed here. Pull that out. Great uh, spot to store all your clothes, as well as a couple of uh, storage lockers there as well. Real windows allows airflow and uh, natural light down here. Keep you kind of feeling outside even if you're down here in your bed. TV on this wall allows you to kind of watch your favorite uh, shows while you're in bed there. Continuing with the weekend capabilities, you need a hanging locker. So this is nice that Pardo threw in a nice large hanging locker, bring plenty of shirts and uh, dresses. Really go away for a long weekend if you wanted to. And that's right past or right ahead of your TV there. So again, really kind of amplify this space. And then you'll notice, believe it or not, you have a second stateroom on this boat. It's kind of hard to believe with all that outdoor entertainment space that you could have room for a second stateroom. Keeping with that very impressive style is how do you fit a full stand-up shower, a non-wet head in a 43-foot day boat? <laughs> Somehow Pardo figured it out, but you have all the essentials that you need there, a nice sink, real shower, Nice standalone toilet there as well as storage. And this is an entertainment focused boat, but you still have this. It really checks off most of the boxes for most boaters out there. Let me show you the bow. Even though we took that small step up towards the bow, again, notice how high up the gunnels are. I'm a very tall guy and I don't think many kids are gonna be able to fall out of this or, and or even jump if they're feeling adventurous. Very, very tall gunnels safety, security, and entertainment. Really kind of the name of Pardo and their heritage. More spot to entertain outside. This is the bow lounge. Really nice large sun pad there. You do have a Mediterranean sunshade that'll drop in with two poles and then a couple of clips right on the hard top there to again give you the optional shade if you wanted it. This bench I can't tell you how many times I see people enjoying their Pardo and somebody sitting here if they're at anchor or even at a dock. This is probably the nicest seat on the boat other than my favorite, the helm seat. This Lamborghini Grigio Grey that we did, we wrapped it interior as well. So it's not only the exterior hull color, but you'll notice it wraps all the way inside, covers this console here, um, as well as the inner gunnels. Really, you can do this either way. I've seen it look very nice with a sharp dark color outside, and then we can do white here, but it's all up to you. We move towards the stern. We get this question a lot on Pardo. Can we do an enclosure? Yes, we can, very easily. It's basically a track system with a nice little zipper, and then that connects to your hardtop to really extend our very short northeast season up here. Nothing wrong with enjoying the weather when there's some beautiful days out there. However, we know up here there is quite a few summer days that are feel more like spring or fall. So, enclose it up and then you can enjoy your beautiful 43 Pardo or 38 or 50 or whatever kind of boat you're looking, size range you're looking for. Well guys, if you've made it this far, I have to say thank you for watching my tour of this beautiful, absolutely stunning 43 Pardo that we were lucky enough to get on today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you wanna follow me on any of the social medias, I'm at Your Yacht Guy, or you can feel free to send me an email, fanderson at si Yachts. And again, thank you for watching.